get your stopwatch out and measure the time from penetration to ejaculation. Multiply the result by three and you know how long she wants you to last in bed. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. In this video, we delve into the time discussion. What data do we have on time when it comes to sexual activity? What does science know? What do people know? And what do they desire? Is there anything you can do to last longer in bed? First things first, for a start into this video, what science do we have on IELT? IELT, that's the intravaginal ejaculation latency time. From the point of penetration, how long does it take until ejaculation? We have two stopwatch studies on that. These were done in Western countries and these are the results. 5.4 minutes and 6 minutes respectively. From penetration until ejaculation. We are still lacking studies from other parts of the world. For example, we don't have such data from the African continent. I'll go more into detail later. When we talk about duration, we have to separate total duration of sexual activity from sexual intercourse. In a 2007 online survey, about half of the men and women asked wished for a total of 30 minutes of sexual activity combined. An online survey from 2023 by Parship, which is a dating portal in my part of the world, asked 1,000 men and women in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. The results matched the 2007 study. However, the respondents said that they actually had sex for 30 minutes, roughly 15 minutes spent on foreplay and 15 minutes spent on intercourse. These are self-reported data. Because my immediate question was, how do they do it? If reliable stopwatch studies from the identical geographical area reveal 5 to 6 minutes, how come they can last 15 minutes? Well, there may be several reasons. They could have overestimated the IELT. They could have answered in a socially desired fashion. They could have paused to stretch the time. Actually, we don't know anything about that. In a scientific study from 2004, men and women were asked with the IELT in focus. Self-reported IELT was 7.86 minutes in men. Women perceived the time slightly shorter with 7.03 minutes, but they wished for 14.34 minutes when asked. And I mean, this finding is consistent throughout time. In 2020, 1065 men and women were asked online about experiences and expectations. Also, this was self-reported. Interestingly, it was a geographically diverse group. 24.3% of the respondents were located in Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, but also South Asia was represented by 12.7%. 13 to 16 minutes was regarded the ideal duration of IELT. That was the combined finding in men and women. Self-reported IELT was about 7 to 8 minutes. This survey also included men who have sex with men and also bisexual men no discrepancy could be found. Several years back, a couple from Egypt attended to my office. The woman informed me that an IELT of 30 minutes is the minimum standard as regarded by Egyptian women. That made me explicitly search for African countries. What I found was a study from Ghana from 2015 with a sample of 568 heterosexual men and women within the Kumasi metropolis. Here's a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to Euro channel. If you like my content, give me some digital applause. On YouTube, my audience is invisible to me. I am standing in front of a camera. So as a sign of your appreciation, do as you would in the real world and clap your hands by liking and subscribing. Thank you. They found that the average Ghanaian believes that 7 to 25 minutes is a normal IELT with a self-reported IELT of 9.6 minutes on average. Again, women disagreed with the measurements of the men. What was 9.6 minutes for men was 8.2 minutes for women. 
However, the desirable IELTE was much longer. Men wished for 18.8 minutes and women wanted 19.1 minutes. As I reported earlier, in Western countries, it was the men who wished for a longer IELT than women. What is lacking is stopwatch studies here, because the self-reported latencies are much longer than in other parts of the world. This is something that needs to be verified scientifically. But I think a trend becomes visible here. Men and women around the globe are easily dissatisfied with what they got. And I'm not talking about premature ejaculation here. This is the usual deal, what people normally get when they engage in sexual activity. Here's a bonus. In 2008, they asked 180 American and Canadian sex therapists about their opinions. The average sex therapist believes that intercourse lasts between 3 to 13 minutes. Many sex therapists consider 14 to 18 minutes intravaginal latency times to be longer than desirable. Sexual satisfaction is the result of the expectations of the couple and internal norms. IELT is more or less fixed. With age, it changes. But that's about all one can do without involving medication to stretch it out. I think it is important to educate about what many would consider the bitter truth about IELT. This will help to manage expectations and to avoid disappointment. And we need more stopwatch studies. Actually, what I've been talking about would more or less fit into one of the categories of premature ejaculation. It is called premature-like PE. Here's a video that has the details. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.